Hey what's up guys this is TGWA here and today we are talking about how to select your digital SLR camera. Nikon cameras can fall into four categories. Entry level category, consumer category, prosumer category and professional category. If you are watching this video I assume that you are interested in entry level cameras. So if you decide to buy a new digital camera from Nikon you may be interested in one of these four cameras. D3200 D3300, D5300, and D5500. Now let's explain the difference between these four cameras. Let's start with ISO. ISO represents the sensitivity to light. The higher the ISO number, the better the image quality is when you are in low light situation. There is two types of ISO in every camera. There is generic ISO or standard ISO, and the second type is artificial or high ISO. In high ISO the camera will try to add more light using a software built in into the camera. It's like taking a picture and using a Photoshop program or any photo editor to add more light to the picture. So you can notice the difference between natural light source and adding more light using a photo editor. That's how high ISO is so basically you would like to keep attention to the generic or to the standard ISO so the generic ISO on the D3200 is 6400 maximum generic ISO on the D3300 is 12800 maximum generic ISO on the D5300 is 12800 and the maximum ISO for D5500 generic is 25600 so D5500 wins here Regarding sharpness, D5500, 5300, 3300, they are coming with no low pass filter, which means they will give you a sharp image, very vivid and sharp image. The lines are going to be very sharp. D3200 comes with something called low pass filter, which will soften your image overall, but it will try to decrease the amount of distortion in your image. So Nikon made some improvements on D3300, D5300, D5500. They will not need to use low pass filter on these cameras and you will get much more sharper image because you don't have the low pass filter. So the conclusion is D3200 is the minimum sharpness you will get out of the four cameras we are talking about today. The screen on these four cameras is non-touch screen except for the D5500. So you have a touch screen only on the D5500. The screen is 3.2 inches on D5500. You have 3.2 inches on the 5300 and you have 3 inches on 3200 and 3300. Wi-Fi in your camera is to let you control the camera from your phone, your smartphone or your tablet such as iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet. You can control your camera from your phone. You can also transfer pictures wirelessly from your camera to your phone using Wi-Fi. D5500 and 5300 has built-in Wi-Fi. D3200 and 3300 are Wi-Fi compatible. So you can buy additional Wi-Fi accessory from Nikon called WU1A. It will cost you about 60 bucks and you will be able to connect your camera to Wi-Fi using that additional accessory. If you are interested in taking some sports and action shots, D3200 will give you 4 frames per second versus 5 frames per second for D5300, 5500 and 3300. D3200 is the minimum for sports and action shots. The processor in D3200 is called X-Speed 3. The processor in D5500, D5300, D3300 is called X-Speed 4. So obviously the processor in all these cameras is better than the processor in D3200 because it's faster and more advanced. So when you take a picture, D3200 is going to be the slowest camera to save that picture on your memory card compared to these other three models. The conclusion is, if you can afford D5500, it's a very good camera for a beginner. If you cannot afford D5500, go to the D5300. If you cannot afford D5300, go to the D3300. If you cannot afford D3300, go to the D3200. And now you know what you will be losing when you downgrade from D55 to D53 to D33 to D32. I hope this video was helpful and if you need any question, just give me a comment down below and I will be able to reply back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.